myself arti i am a non muslim i like to ask a question that uh, first of all very thanks for uh, your and giving me this opportunity to listen to you and understand islam uh, what i understood from your talk is mainly that it's a religion which believes in peace and harmony and uh, scientific and rational beliefs if it is so then how does it believe in the whole idea of god and how does it believe the whole idea of heaven or the hell if it's so rational first of all the question that you heard the lecture she's very happy to know islam is a religion of peace and it's a scientific religion it's a rational religion you're asking that if islam is a rational religion then how come it believes in god it believes in heaven and hell today if i have to prove to an atheist the only way i can prove is through the quran with the help of science the best tool i've got today previously it was miracles then came the age of literature and poetry every age quran is a miracle of miracles it's a miracle of all times so because of this if you heard my talk i've proved that because a person who believes in science if he's rational he will have to agree that quran is the word of god if he does not believe in science if he is not rational if he's not understanding there's high chances he will not believe in the quran that is the reason i said today science is not eliminating god it is eliminating models of god as far as science is concerned the concept of god most of the scientists they believe in the existence of god today previously according to francis bacon it says that little knowledge of science makes you an atheist but in depth knowledge of science makes you a believer in god now coming to your second question about heaven and hell now if you analyze the quran whatever the quran speaks about science approximately you can say that 80% what the quran speaks about science has been proved to be 100% correct about the creation of the universe about the shape of the earth light of the moon that the sun rotates and revolves what a cycle geology botany etc 80% of what the quran speaks about science is 100% proved to be correct the remaining 20% it goes in the ambiguous slot neither right neither wrong so my logic says when 80% is 100% correct and the remaining 20% is neither right neither wrong not even 0.1% of the 20% have been proved to be wrong my logic says that inshallah god willing even that 20% will be right so heaven and hell angels jinn science hasn't advanced that far today science has advanced maybe to understand 80% of the quranic verses we speak about science tomorrow maybe 50 years later 100 years later 200 years later science will talk about heaven will talk about hell will talk about jinn so my logic says it's not an illogical belief it's a logical belief when 80% is 100% correct and the remaining 20% not even 0.1% is wrong no scientist today can say that he can prove scientifically there is no hell no scientist today can prove scientifically there is no heaven he can say i don't know maybe it is maybe it is not it is ambiguous so my logic says when 20% is ambiguous neither right neither wrong when 80% 100% correct i being a scientific person i being a rational person i say that inshallah god willing even that 20% will be correct that is the reason i believe in hell i believe in heaven and i also believe in the angels and the jinn hope that answers the question uh, i i still have some clarification i need some clarification anything connected with the same question yes yeah actually you said that science also follows or believes in god or also islam do that then what is the exact explanation that is that it has given for god or for he heaven or hell sister did you hear my full talk yeah did you hear my talk which i gave earlier last week is the quran god's word no sir Fine. this is my first talk. so in this talk i spent 15 minutes trying to repeat in a nutshell what i spoke in two hours what i request you you take my video cassette recording is the quran god's word and i've proved there that quran is god's word and also proved to an atheist the existence of almighty god which i did today in a nutshell but in a fast way so i have proved that god has to exist if god did not exist who wrote this quran who wrote this quran 1400 years ago talking about my 
question is also then who wrote this quran who wrote it the creator wrote it god wrote it what no human being can write sorry what is the explanation for that the explanation is my talk of two our sister you can take the video cassette and the similar talk i'd given in bombay in 1995 and i would request some of the volunteers the lady volunteer to give you a copy of my talk which i said in 1995 in billa matushri take that talk inshallah it will give you more details about the explanation of god as well as the existence of god and quran is the word of god hope that answers the question